Hello everyone, my name is Tess and I will be joining in at Her Interactive as the second marketing intern. Surprise! I am working along with Indy. Hey Indy. Oh hey Tess. Hey, quick question. Yeah. If you had to live through any Nancy Drew game or book, what would it be? Well, if it's a game, it would definitely have to be Phantom of Venice just because I'd get a free ticket to Venice. And I really like the idea of being a spy and art theft and stuff like that. I don't know about books, that, that I have to think about that for a while. Yeah, <laughs> there's too many. Yeah. I just met Indy on Monday and she is awesome, as I'm sure you guys already know. If for some reason you don't know, then you should go check out her videos. Link to the first one in the description. I am so excited to be working here. Everyone's been super nice to me from the moment that I got here. I can't wait to work more with them. They're great people. So for the rest of this video, I'm going to be talking a bit more about me and my connection to the world of Nancy Drew. And then Indy is going to join me and we're going to play a little game, which should be fun. So stay tuned for that. But first, who exactly am I? Well, I am from Washington State, born and raised. I graduated from the University of Washington and I am so stoked about it. It's kind of surreal though. Like I don't think it's fully hit me yet. I guess it will start to sink in come the fall when I'm not going to class anymore. As far as my interests, I enjoy hanging out with family and friends, music, food, animation, and of course, Nancy Drew. I first came across the Nancy Drew games when I was in, I want to say late elementary school school, early middle school, something like that. And I believe the first game I got was either Secret of Shadow Ranch or Stay Tuned for Danger. These were two of the first games that I remember playing and I loved them. Well, once I started playing them. When I first got them, I wasn't really interested initially. At this point, games still took kind of a backseat to toys. So I remember being a little hesitant to try it out, but then I did. And that's when I discovered how amazing Nancy Drew is. I've been a fan ever since. What is your favorite game? Yes. I can't narrow it down to just one. There are so many to choose from. So I'm going to talk about a few of my favorites and separate them into categories. For location, there's a bunch of games that would receive honorable mention for this spot, chief among them being places I would like to visit, like Venice in The Phantom of Venice or Japan in Shadow at the Water's Edge. But I think the winner of this category is probably Alibi and Ashes because you get to play in Nancy's hometown, which I think is pretty awesome. For spookiness, hands down, Shadow at the Water's Edge. Like the mirror scene, Oh my goodness. <laughs> there were so many nope moments in that game. I remember saving often. For tameness. I say the word tame meaning not as spooky. Tame makes it sound boring, which is not the case at all. All of the games I've played have had me on the edge of my seat multiple times. Anyway, I think this one probably goes to Warnings at Waverly Academy. I really liked the story of this one and the fact that it was set at a school, which was a familiar setting for me. But more than that, I enjoyed the case. It was really engaging and at times intense, but I was never terrified. I found that the focus was solely on solving the mystery and figuring out who done it. For gameplay. This one would probably go to The Secret of Shadow Ranch. I liked the routine of picking out vegetables and baking a cake and going writing and all the other activities that you get to do in that game. I also remember liking pretty much all of the puzzles, minus the one puzzle by the rock with the rattlesnake. If you've played it, you know what I'm talking about. I don't know, maybe you guys liked it, but for me, that one was really hard. For the nostalgia factor, this one would probably go to Stay Tuned for Danger. Along with being one of the first games that I remember playing, I remember this one being one of the first games I played with other people. Let me tell you, if you have not tried playing these games with friends or family, do it. Seriously, playing as a group is so much fun, especially if the game is a little bit scarier. But this was one of the games that I remember first playing with my siblings and my cousins. We've played other games together, like The Secret of Shadow Ranch, The Phantom of Venice, Secret of the Old Clock, and The Last Train to Blue Moon Canyon, to name a few. But Stay Tuned for Danger is the one that when Nancy Drew comes up in conversation, we all remember the best. I could keep going and name additional categories because every game that I've played has been really fun, but I'll stop there. Do you have a favorite character? I like a lot of the characters. As far as the ones that are in Nancy's immediate circle of friends, it's really hard to pin down just one because they're all awesome for different reasons. I will say that I do like Bess a lot, especially in the newest Nancy Drew app, Codes and Clues, which you should all check out, by the way, where she likes to label everything as suspicious. But aside from Nancy's main group, the one character that comes to mind first is Millie Strathorn from Stay Tuned for Danger. She is crazy, feisty, hilarious, and the way that she greets Nancy at the door cracks me up. What's your favorite thing to do in the games? 
Oddly enough, I really like the activities that Nancy has to do that simulate real activities like cooking and baking and playing golf and straightening things up. I don't know why, there's just something really satisfying about doing these things in the game. Maybe because Nancy is so much faster at them than I am. What is your favorite thing about Nancy? Among her many amazing qualities, there are two things about Nancy that I like in particular. First of all, she is incredibly talented and intelligent, but she's also pretty selfless. She could easily become mean or bitter or manipulative because of all the crazy stuff that she's been through, but she doesn't. She genuinely cares about a lot of the people that she comes into contact Contact with, even if they give her the cold shoulder more often than not. But that doesn't mean that she lets people walk all over her. Which leads me to the second thing that I like about Nancy. That girl is gutsy. Like she will go up to people and essentially tell them point blank, hey so I just looked through your personal stuff and basically I think you could be the culprit, what do you think about that? I'm just sitting there thinking, I'm no psychologist, but Nancy, I'm pretty sure most people don't like this kind of out of the blue confrontation. But she doesn't care! Like I said, it's not like she tries to be mean about it but she's not afraid to do what she needs to do to find out the truth and solve the case. And if that means ruffling up a few feathers, then okay. And I just think that's really admirable. All right, so now that you know a little bit more about me and my take on Nancy Drew, it's time to bring Indy in. Hello again, Indy. Thank you for agreeing to do this. Oh, no problem. So here's what's gonna happen. So in here, in this magical blueberry box, we've got a bunch of different prompts related to Nancy Drew. What we're going to do is we're going to take turns where one of us is going to draw a prompt from this box and then uh, we're going to respond to it. There's going to be three rounds and the first round is going to be we're going to alternate words in, in response. And the second one is going to be we're speaking at the same time. And then the third one we're going to kind of choose which one we like. Alright, here we go. Do you want to go first? Sure. First. Cool. Come up, oh, this is the one we practiced with. <laughs> Come up with a Nancy Drew uh, plot. Okay, would you like to start? Sure. One day, Nancy Drew goes to the aquarium where she finds a mystery <laughs> about <laughs> the great Beluga whales. Is that one word? We can do it as one word. Yeah, yeah. And she discovers buried underneath treasure. <laughs> 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 I guess like underneath what? The beluga whales? Like, oh no. Where she finds buried something. <laughs> that doesn't make sense with Barry. <laughs> Say treasure, where she finds Barry treasure. Treasure. <laughs> we'll just go from there. <laughs> treasure. That is thousands of years old. Okay. Woo! Okay. <laughs> Alright. That, was that wasn't <laughs> difficult at all. <laughs> no, not at all. It wasn't. No, no train wrecks in there. Alright, so this one, round two. What advice would Nancy give to aspiring detectives? She, she, she would tell, tell them that, that they, they need to carry a pencil, pencil and a notebook to, to write down all her clues. <laughs> Yes, that's exactly this what. This is just like making extreme <laughs> eye contact while being very uncomfortable. Uh, there you go. Okay. What kind of items should you have with you when you play an anti Drew game? Okay, so what kind of what kind of one do you want to do this? Do you want to alternate or <laughs> make extreme eye contact? <laughs> we can alternate. <laughs> when you are playing a Nancy Drew game, it requires having popcorn and other food to munch <laughs> on <laughs> while you play and also you should always wear <laughs> underwear <laughs> Ubi Sabubi? 
<laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. That's the quote from uh, Scarlett Hand is Semper Ubi Sububi, and it means you should always wear underwear. Oh. So that kind of worked. I'm back to. <laughs> Okay. Learned that from Nancy Drew. Well, thank you very much for playing. <laughs> no problem. It was a lot of fun. Good. It's really fun. Like, if you get like huge groups of people, this kind of stuff is really fun to do. Yeah. yeah. But thank you very much. Oh, no problem. Now it's your turn. Challenge your friends to this game and see how you do. How did it turn out? What other Nancy Drew questions can you come up with? Let us know in the comments or make your own video and send it to us. I hope you liked the video and don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more. I will likely be posting videos about once a week, maybe more, we'll see. But that's about it. Thanks for watching.